can't you hear Reba singing this song? We just, we were like saying that in the room. We were like, can't you hear Reba singing this? And then fast forward, <laughs> Emily Songfugger um, had a meeting with Reba the day before she was cutting a record. This never happens. We call this the unicorn. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they put it on hold like the night before she went in to cut and she cut it the very next day. And I have to say, I had the day off. I think it was a Thursday. And I had heard the night before, like, oh, we can put this on hold. I'm like, whatever. Like, because it means, that really means nothing. <clears throat> and the very next day, they're like, seriously, she's going in, like, today. And then I got a text from somebody's mom who was at the doctor's office, and Reba was there, and she was talking about the song. She overheard my name, and she texted me. And I'm like, wow, this is, like, for real. And then I got an email from the same day from Trisha Yearwood for the first time ever. And I'm like... Am I having like a Reba Trisha moment? Like at the same time? This seems like really weird. Anyway, so this is a duet. Reba ended up cutting this and putting it on her current record uh, that's out right now. Called Love Somebody. Called Love Somebody. And um, she cut it with Jennifer Nettles. And um, it's between a wife and a mistress. And I'm not married, and I will be playing the wife. Emily's happily married, she'll be playing the mistress. <laughs> Anyways, this song is called 